Sagittarius. Hello, Sagittarius. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Let's find out what's going on with Sagittarius and what does Sagittarius need to know? Okay, you could have Scorpio in your chart, but this is the death card. It's talking about metamorphosis. It's talking about major transformation. Things are changing, all right? Let's get a little context. What's changing? You're learning the truth about something here and you're regaining a sense of clarity and focus. You have a new idea that you're working on and you feel really inspired to put this idea into practice. This means a lot to you. It's very meaningful. It may be a spiritual practice, intuitive practice. It could be like Reiki or tarot or something like this where you're, you're tapping into your own intuition and your spiritual beliefs and you're putting this into practice in your daily life and it's giving you a sense of clarity and purpose. And actually you're gonna start to see your life is changing. You're gonna see tangible results. The more you put this skill into practice, the more you practice this meditation, this clarity, whatever this focus is for you, this new idea, this new thing that you're doing, the more results you're gonna see. Putting this skill into practice, you're going to see more results. You're gonna get better and better at it. The more you use it, the more you will have. Yeah, you're going to get really good at this. Okay, let's get some clarity. What What's going on? Three of Swords. So this is going to help you solve some problems. You may even have like a new source of income that's going to help solve problems. Uh, yeah, when it comes to your home, your living situation, your body, this is um, helping you heal. And this is a part of your daily practice. You want to make this a part of your day-to-day -day habit, your day-to-day -day routine. Turning this into a ritual. One more. Yeah, three of pentacles. Ooh, the the emperor at the bottom of the deck and the, the king of cups on the split. So there's a partnership here with an Aries, perhaps a Leo. Oh. There's this, okay, there's this um, masculine figure, father figure. Oh, okay. You have a um, a very deep connection with this person in the heart space. This is a this message is giving me chills, and I'm I'm looking for the words. I want to put this into words that make sense and that are very um, a very sensitive, conscientious way, but. Uh, you have this passed on loved one who has already crossed over or they've they've passed away and it's this masculine here Aries Leo I've got also Taurus Gemini water sign Cancer Pisces Scorpio okay and uh they're they're like watching out for you this person's praying for you or they're they're like putting in a good word for you uh with with the the higher power or they they have a sort of angelic influence here they're sending you messages of love and light they want to see you happy they don't want to see you suffering and mourning they wouldn't want you to be grieving they miss you too but please take care of yourself. Please take good care of yourself. They want, they're watching over you. They're always with you. They feel you. They see you. You feel them too. You can feel that this person is still with you, even though they've passed away. And they're, they're, they want you to know that they're sorry that they left you. They never would have, they never would have done this or they never would have left you and they never wanted to leave you. They may have been very sick. Maybe it took, it took, it, it, was, it went really quickly. Like it took the, yeah, I'm not supposed to say that. Um, it took their life. Something took them away from you. It took them away from you too soon. It happened so fast and it felt like there was unfinished business or unresolved, something unresolved here where they left you and they didn't want to. 
And so they're still with you and they want to see you succeed. And I think you're going to start to see tangible results in your life as you put some kind of new idea into practice that's going to help you solve financial problems and health problems. They see you. They, they are watching you. They love you. They want you to know that they love you. They really care about you. They're so sorry they left. They didn't mean to. They didn't want to. Of course, you already know this. You know they didn't want to. They, they're still with you. And they're sending you love and light and healing and warmth. And they want you to be happy. And they don't want to see you suffering and struggling, especially not on their behalf or grieving the loss. Wow. Yeah, there's the high priestess, I'm telling you. Psychic connection. Yeah, it's, it's like you already know this. You already have this. You've already had signs and synchronicities from them. They've been trying to give you signs and synchronicities, signs like moving things around in the house even, like paranormal experiences. If you've had some kind of strange, very specific paranormal or supernatural experience, like something falling off like your keys, something to do with the car keys or um, a song um, on the radio, when you were thinking about them or like the phone rang and there was nobody there and it, but or like the phone rang and it was their number and it's freaking you out. And it's like, what? It was them. It was them. So they're trying to call you. They're trying to tell you that they are still with you. Strange little things like the lights turning off or on the TV turning on uh, or off like They've been trying to get your attention. It's them. It's exactly who you know it is. You already know who it is. And you knew it, well, you knew it was them in the moment. They're confirming that they've, they've been reaching out to you. They've been trying to reach out to you. They're going to continue. They're not going anywhere. They're never going to leave you. As long as you live. As long as you want them and still love them and still miss them too. Like if you didn't want them around, I think that they would be respectful of that. But they miss you and you miss them. And it ended too soon. Their life was taken too soon. And they feel like they can't leave you. And they love you. And they want you to know that. But they think that... You, like, I think that you're not taking good care of yourself. Or they want you to take better care of yourself. Your body. Your health. You're beautiful. Take care of your beauty routine. You know, your skincare, your, your hair, go get your hair done or something. I don't know. This isn't, I'm not, I'm not telling you to do this. I'm saying that they want to see you happy. They want to see you taking care of yourself. I feel like you've been grieving and you've been depressed and sad. And of course it's heartbreaking. And yes, that's appropriate and valid and legitimate to feel this way. But this is the message I'm getting for you today is they want to see you making progress slowly but sure just a little bit at a time you don't have to change overnight it doesn't have to happen all you know all at once but you're going to start to see progress and you're going to start to see that as you put your energy into practice as you put this as you put your skills into practice you're going to see tangible results and those results are going to build up over time and it's going to give you a better sense of confidence and clarity and you need to feel good you need to have you need this you need to feel better you need to um don't feel guilty about moving on or don't feel guilty about feeling better. Don't feel guilty about getting healthy. Um, survivor's guilt is coming through. Like it's not, none of this is your fault. There's no reason whatsoever for you to feel bad about it or, or like to feel guilty, so to speak. Like you didn't do this. This is not your choice. You never wanted this at all to happen. This is a tragedy, but it happened and you're still here. You're still here and they are still with you and they want you to be okay. They want you to, to feel better. They want you to grow and to live your life. That's what they would have wanted. They want you to live. Live the life that the two of you wanted to have together because they are still with you in spirit. They're still with you in spirit and you know this. Like you already know. They've been sending you signs. Yeah, you know it. And and so, okay, I'm 
gonna put this here because this means something, this matters. All of this is, you will be together again someday in the stars. That's what I just heard. You will, you will be together in the stars. I will see you in the stars. All right, so let's get a systems oracle. Yeah, they want you to live a full life because you're meant to do things in this life and they wanna see you succeed and be ha happy and healthy as much as possible. And they will see you again, see you in the stars, see you soon. I will see you, well, not like that. No, not like that, but like soon enough. I mean, this life goes by so fast, you know, and things are always changing. Nothing's permanent. Nothing at all is permanent, not even death. Okay, so that's what they're saying. They're gonna see you again. I will see you again in the stars. I know how hard this is, but you've got to live. You've got to live your life. Mm. Yeah, because it's causing blockages, like being stuck and missing them and not moving on and rejecting life. It's like causing, causing problems in your life and they wanna see you happy. Okay, yeah. This system's oracle is about turning inward. To me, this is talking about the nervous system. It's talking about your connection with spirit the deep connection that you have within yourself to everything around you. You are a part of a great intricate system, which includes the material and the immaterial world. And you can feel it in your bones. You can feel it in your blood. You can, they, you can feel it in your nervous system. Looking inwards. Okay, what about looking inwards? One more. Well, that's four more. I want it just one more, please. We've got formation and omen. Number 55 and number 38. All right, let's read from the book Formation Omen. 38. Genesis, merge, design, dedication, and adjustment. The formation card represents the process of taking raw materials and shaping them into something new and purposeful. It signifies a time of intentional creation and manifestation. This card encourages you to focus your energy and resources on building your desired life and world. While the formation process may require hard work and dedication, trust that your efforts will bear fruit soon. Stay committed to your vision and be willing to make adjustments along the way as needed. In reverse, it talks about dissolution, disintegration, lack of structure, chaos, formless void, and absence of creation. Yes, yeah, something's been dissolved here so that it can be reformed and recreated. So stay committed to your vision. That's the message. Hard work and dedication, that's the three of pentacles here. Yes, you're, the, and the, and the uh, eight of pentacles. Yes, you're gonna have to work on this. You're gonna have to put, some, put in the effort, put in the hours to solve this. But stay committed to your vision and be willing to make adjustments along the way. Okay, and then the 55 is the omen. Signs and synchronicities, no, uh, notice, receptivity, and trust. The omen card represents the subtle signs, synchronicities, and messages the universe sends to guide us on our path. It invites you to pay attention to the patterns and coincidences that appear in your life and to trust in the wisdom of your intuition and inner knowing. Yeah, that's what this high priestess and then the inner knowing card. Omens can be both positive and negative, indicating opportunities for growth or warning of potential challenges ahead. This card encourages you to cultivate a receptive and open mind to be willing to interpret and act upon the omens that cross your path. Trust that the universe is conspiring in your favor, even when the signs are unclear. 
In reverse, it talks about normalcy, the lack of signs, disconnection from messages, ignorance of warning, and mundane events. So yeah, trust that the universe is conspiring in your favor, even when the signs are unclear. Be open-minded and willing to interpret and act upon the omens that cross your path. So you have a deeper and greater sense of personal power here. Self-sufficiency, self-confidence, and psychic ability. Your psychic intuition is growing. I see that you've been putting this into practice. You have this new sense of clarity. It's changing your life. It's going to help you solve some kind of problems. You're not going to be unclear forever. There's an unanswered question here, but there's, the solution is contained in the problem. The answer is somehow contained in the question itself. It may take work and dedication, but I see you forming a new lifestyle for yourself, following the signs and synchronicities, seeing the synchronicities and the serendipity in your life, seeing it for what it is and receiving it. And then this message over here, okay, we were getting that you know, a passed on crossover, masculine, loved one, father figure, uh, husband, maybe lover, but it was, it's definitely a masculine here. And they had fallen away. They had passed over, crossed over, and they were sending their love to you and they want to see you doing well. This is somebody who misses you. You know, if it's not a passed over loved one, it could just be a partner that you still have this very intimate connection with spiritually, emotionally. It's like you two share a very strong bond. And they're, they are, they feel like at a distance from you right now and they are just, they're sorry for something. I also see the king and queen of pentacles here as well as the empress they want to have this like rebirth moment and feel like they want to get back together with you if they're at a distance or they want to straighten things out they want to make something right something may have happened between the two of you they want to make it right they want to they want to take accountability they feel sort of powerless or something has made them feel like they can't help or they can't do something there's they wish that they could be there for you so bad. And I think that this is making them want to change their life. Like financially changing their location when it comes to where they live, um, where they work, spending resources or investing in a, a new home or a new place to live. Or they want something to be more secure, more stable. They want to give you that security, that stability, that commitment, that dedication. Maybe they lost their job or something and they, they want to get a new one. They're, they're coming into greater abundance. It's just a really difficult moment right now. But something's been dissolved and it's going to take hard work to put it back together. So if they are coming back in, you know, yeah, this may be a very positive change for the better in many ways, but that doesn't mean there's not going to be any work to do. I just feel like they're sorry. They are really sorry for whatever happened. And uh, they want to make it right, or they want to see you doing well. Even if, even if you're not together, they still want to see you doing well. But they are with you in spirit, though. They're like still with you. They feel like they're still with you in their heart. Like they're going to be reborn in the next life. They're like going to be reincarnated together. You guys are going to be reincarnated together in the next life. That's intense. Okay. I don't know how, how many people that's actually going to resonate with today, but that's what I've got for you today, Sagittarius. It's like, if this is your reading, then this is your message. It's a general reading for Sagittarius. If you'd like personal details, we could do a personal reading. You could email me for that, but that's what I've got for you today. Yeah. They're speaking to you. 
They love you. They really care about you. They're sorry that they're not there with you right now, but they want you to take good care of yourself, to make positive changes, to make good choices. And they'll see you on the other side. We'll be together again in the stars. Wow. Okay, that's what I've got for you today, Sagittarius. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was of service to you. If you enjoyed this and you'd like a personal reading, my email's in the description box below. You can email me. I'll let you know how it works. You let me know what you need. But in any case, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye.